Hello! My previous video about taxi from Donetsk and Lugansk have viewed some scammers and there is another scam that has to do with taxi and with evacuation from dangerous areas that you should be aware of. Idea for this video is also from Alex from odessatransfers.com, my very good friend, who recommended my video about taxi from Donetsk and Lugansk to some of his clients and he found out about another popular scam where girls ask to evacuate them from an area in Ukraine that is close, very close to a war zone. But that area is controlled by Ukraine. Before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. As you can see right here, only 30% who watch my videos are subscribed to my channel and 70% are not. Please subscribe to my channel and motivate me to record more videos for you in the future. So, idea of this scam is when girl pretends she lives very close to a war zone in a city or in a village and she is very very scared and has to be evacuated as soon as possible. Most probably she would be telling you that uh, Russists uh, bomb her village or city all the time and thanks God that you actually met on this dating agency website and that it's just a destiny that she met you or you met her, that you're her only savior. Trick of this scam is to persuade you that you are the only person who can help her and of course she will be thankful to you until the rest of her life. She would say something that thanks God that you've met, that it's a destiny and now she has to evacuate from that dangerous area as soon as possible. Of course, she has nowhere to go, she has no relatives in Ukraine, no relatives abroad and if you would be so kind, she would go by bus or fly straight to you if you would be so kind to let her live with you. And she would be telling you something like she was always looking for that real man who would help her in the most difficult time of her life. And she would be happy to come to you, to live with you, to cook food for you every day, to do all the shopping, help you in any way possible, give birth to as many children as you want. If you don't want any children, it's no problem. So she will just play psychologically on your desires. And of course, she will be that wild tigress with you every night. I suppose you have already imagined that. A 60 or 70 year old man who is meeting a 25 years old tigress in bed, who has to be evacuated as soon as possible. And the only price for that endless pleasure in life and in bed except maybe buying Viagra is to send her a thousand or two thousand dollars and then she would come to you to your own house and live with you happily until the rest of your or maybe her life. And these men are thinking, how nice, just for one or two thousand dollars, a girl will come to my house, she will cook for me, she will do all the shopping, clean the house, will be a tigress in bed with me every night. All my friends and neighbors will be just jealous. And just because she has no place to go, no place to evacuate, I will pay that money and she will go straight to Moldova, Romania, Poland, Hungary, Slovakia, and from there fly to my home country and then to my city. And girl will ask for evacuation from an area close to a war zone. If we look at the map, You'll see that girls may claim they live in such cities as Slavyansk, Kramatorsk, maybe from Zaporozhye, maybe from Kharkiv, and less smart scammers will be claiming they live in Kherson. How much would she ask? Most probably it would be about a thousand US dollars or a thousand euros, which is a typical price of evacuation by taxi from such cities as Slavyansk or Kramatorsk to Chisinau in Moldova. Less smart girls would claim that they live somewhere in Kherson and would ask for about five or six hundred US dollars or euros. And that's the price of evacuation from Kherson by taxi to Chisinau. And girls would ask you to send those money either by Western Union, by MoneyGram, by RIA or by PayPal. And to send that money as soon as 
possible. She will be saying that she can't sleep, can't eat, that she is really scared and that she doesn't want to die. Suspicious and more clever men would try to organize such evacuation by themselves. They would contact a taxi company in Ukraine, will find about a possibility of such evacuation and then will pay money to the taxi company directly and not to send any money to those girls. Well, taxi company can also scam you, but probability is not as high as comparing to send money just to a girl. How will a girl react when you tell her that you will send money to a taxi company and that you will organize everything by yourself? and that she will not get any remittance from you. She will tell you something that she trusts only the driver that she knows, the driver who may live next to her and does such evacuations on a regular basis. Maybe it's a woman driver that she trusts very, very much who lives next to her or some taxi company that she uses all the time. But even if you propose to pay money to that taxi company directly, she will not accept, she will just refuse it. And simply because she lives somewhere in Kiev, in Lviv, in Odessa, maybe in Uzhgorod or maybe even abroad in such countries as Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, Germany or maybe even in Italy and Spain. Some scammers will claim that they will be happy only with female drivers and that they know maybe two or three female drivers who live in their cities or in nearby villages and they are only comfortable with those drivers because they are really afraid of men that man driver can do something on the way to Kiev or on the way to Lviv with them. Some scammers may say that they know only one or two men who do such evacuations, but they have to pay on many checkpoints from that uh, city to Kiev or to Lviv or to Odessa. And that's complete BS. There is absolutely no money to be paid on any checkpoints. Yes, to some cities such as Slavyansk, Kramatorsk, driver needs to obtain a special permit to drive there. But that permit doesn't cost any money. But they will say that a lot of money is needed to pay on those checkpoints. That's not true. It is worth saying here that there are many volunteers on minivans who evacuate people from those areas almost every day. It is possible to be evacuated either with volunteers or with the army. There are schedules for evacuation and uh, those schedules are known very, very well. And such evacuation by either volunteers or army is absolutely free of charge. Absolutely nothing has to be paid for that. So from Slavyansk or Kramatorsk it is possible to evacuate to Dnipro without any money whatsoever. Then there are evacuation buses and trains to Kiev and from Kiev they can evacuate to Lviv and from Lviv to Poland. And uh, nothing is to be paid for that. Maybe a small price of train ticket and that will be evacuation train and there will be a price of maybe 10 or 15 dollars and that's it. But evacuation from Slavyansk and uh, Kramatorsk and uh, the nearby villages to Dnipro will be absolutely free of charge charge. From Kherson it is possible to evacuate absolutely free of charge to Odessa. And from Odessa it is possible to go by evacuation bus to Chisinau, which costs I think about $50 or even less. But scammers will insist that evacuation is possible only by private cars and that is very very expensive. And there is absolutely no other way to evacuate from there. And they can evacuate only if you send them money so that they pay them driver. And of course, after you send that money, she will disappear. Or as I talked in my previous video about evacuation from Donetsk or uh, Lugansk by taxi, she would say that she lost that money that you sent her the first time and will try to get uh, the same amount of money from you for the second time. If you haven't watched 
that video about taxi from Donetsk or Lugansk, link to it will be in the description to this video. Let's see a sample conversation with men and one of such scammers that Alex from odessatransfers.com sent me. Alex was contacted by a man who wanted to evacuate a girl from Slavyansk. Alex told that man from the very beginning that it was 99% scam and he proposed a simple way to check it. Let's have a look. So, man proposes to pay that girl for taxi and she writes, you can't pay for the taxi, only I can. It is through PayPal to withdraw money to a card and pay in cash or to a bank card. And girl continues that maybe tomorrow she will call an on taxi, which is not a big taxi company actually, that you will send money to PayPal and she can withdraw money and pay uh, on the road. And she tells him that she has to go tomorrow, so she has to go as soon as possible. And she needs to send him money as soon as possible. So classic scam scheme. And then she insists that she has to go tomorrow. And when man uh, says patience, she writes, I won't go with Alex, I don't trust him, I worry about my life. This is the first time I hear about Alex, I am sorry, there is no other way. I will go only through on taxi. So she wants only money to, by PayPal that she can withdraw as soon as possible. And then she writes, I am afraid to ride in this taxi service because I am worried about my life. There are no reviews for this taxi service, I hear for the first time. So, man proposes the girl to pay for everything and to take her from Slavyansk even to Chisinau. And she does not accept that. She wants only his money nothing else. And then she writes that it's a known taxi service, on taxi is known throughout Ukraine, there is information about the service, and that uh, they controlled hired drivers, and drivers are very neat and polite. They need to earn five stars in the app from every trip. And uh, these ratings are not viewed by anyone. She just wants money, nothing else. And then probably uh, he asked Alex to call her, but she doesn't pick up the phone. And uh, he tells uh, that girl that uh, he will pay for that uh, taxi, but will not send any money to this girl. And then he writes that he has to be extra careful. And uh, I think it is Alex who proposed this uh, trick to uh, this man. He asked uh, that girl to go to this place in Slavyansk with a sign where it says Slavyansk and take a photo, take a selfie of that girl with an A4 paper where she would write Manuel Glory to Ukraine. And he asks, do you agree to do this? And the girl writes, it doesn't bother you that shelling is going on there. You don't trust me. What's the point of our relationship then? And then he also says that he will not send her any money. And girl writes that I showed you my passport, but you still don't believe me. When I suggested that I would order a non-taxi, but to pay taxi money. I will need to transfer money from PayPal to a card so that I can cash it out and pay on taxi. And uh, cashing out money from PayPal actually takes about two or three days in Ukraine. And conversion rate is not very nice. So if you can exchange uh, one dollar, let's say on a black market, for about 40 grivnias for one dollar, PayPal gives you only 32 grievous for one dollar. So most probably many scammers would ask you to send money by Western Union or MoneyGram. And then that man asks her for the picture again and she writes, you can't hear me again. I don't want to have anything to do with him at all. Completely from the word completely. And she just translates that phrase from Russian completely from the word completely. In Russian it is совсем от слова совсем to emphasize it as strong as it is possible. So she is really, really mad and uh, she doesn't want to talk to him anymore. So you see, classic scam. Girl wants only money. She does not accept to pay for taxi from another Ukrainian company. No way. She just wants your money. Nothing else. There are many scams going on in Ukraine, so be careful if you believe such girls and send money even to taxi companies. Some taxi companies may also scam you. Alex from Odessa Transfers told me that they have several requests for such evacuations every day and that out of more than 1000 requests over the year, 
here they had only seven such transfers so less than one percent another 99.5 percent were scammers and Odessa Transfers checks such requests very thoroughly because um, sometimes they need to make permits for drivers to drive to those cities and uh, those permits are free, just uh, some time is needed to issue them. And if you would ask me for a company that I would recommend, I know Alex for more than 25 years already and I know that this guy will not scam you. But it's up to you, you can contact any other taxi company if you want or contact maybe two or three companies and ask them about such possibility. Those of you who need my personal assistance, help or advice, you can always email me at my email address and I always glad to help those people who really need help. Please write in comments uh, to this video questions if you have. I will be glad to discuss them in the comments. In the meantime, I wish you all good luck, success, happiness, joy, tranquility and of course stay healthy and wealthy.